Good day viewers, welcome once again to yet another interesting topic. This time around we will be talking on when was Satan driven from heaven. Some are of the view that Satan was driven immediately after the fall of Adam and Eve. Some others say he was driven even before God created Adam and Eve. Few are of the opinion that he was driven immediately after Christ ascended into heaven. But let's view it from the scriptural perspective. When was Satan driven from heaven? It is not true that he was driven either before or after the fall of Adam and Eve. The book of Job gives the understanding that when the angels of God presented themselves before God, Satan do sometimes present himself also. This you can find in Job chapter 1, verse 6 to 12, and Job chapter 2, verse 1 to 7. This clearly shows that Satan still had access to heaven even after the fall of man. What of those that believe he was cast out immediately after Christ ascended into heaven? This is also not correct. Psalm 1 verse 1 gives the understanding that after Christ ascended into heaven, he sat at the right hand of God. He waited patiently for the appointed time in which God will give him the command to rule over his enemies. That is Satan. That time finally came. A prophecy was given to this effect. Revelation 12, 7-12. Note that the book of Revelation focused more on the things that will take place in the last days. As at the time this prophecy was given, Satan still had access to heaven. Then came the real day, that appointed time. Having waited patiently, Jehovah God gave Christ the command to rule over his enemies. And there was war in heaven. Christ and his angels chased out Satan and his demons from heaven down to the earth. How did we know that Satan has been driven down from heaven? Who saw Satan falling from heaven? No one saw him because it was a spiritual war, a spiritual battle. But the saints of God, based on the anointed spirit they have, knew that Satan has been driven out of heaven, and there were physical signs. After the casting out of Satan from heaven, an angel cried out, saying, Now is come salvation and strength, and the kingdom of our God, and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before God day and night. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of their testimony. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens! and ye that dwell in them. Pointing to the earth, he said, Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth that he had but a short time. The short period of Satan is what is referred to as the last day. The last day is Satan's short reign on earth. After Satan was driven out of heaven, he was full of wrath. He attempted to destroy the whole of mankind. This he did by plunging the whole world into war. Never in the history of man has the world witnessed such a war. Historians labelled it First World War, which took place from 1914 to 1918. It was a terrible war. The total number of military and civilian casualties in World War I was about 40 million. Estimates ranged from around 50 to 22 million deaths and about 23 million wounded military personnel, ranking it among the deadliest conflicts in human history. Those that died as a result of hunger and pestilence were far above those that died in battle. What of the Spanish influenza? The influenza epidemic that swept the world in 1918 killed an estimated 50 million people. One fifth of the world's population was attacked by this deadly virus. Within months, this virus killed more people than any other illnesses in recorded history. But Christ put a stop to the war for his inner sake and also because Matthew 24 verse 14 has been fulfilled, which says, And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. Mankind can testify that from the beginning of the 19th century, things have been moving from worst to worst. This is clear confirmation that the First World War confirmed the fact that Satan has been driven out of heaven. Satan is presently ravaging the earth with wars, earthquakes, tsunamis, pestilences, and other natural disasters. This is because he knows his time is short. But his final end will soon come. He will be destroyed from the face of the earth, together with his demons and all that pertains to unrighteousness. Revelation chapter 20, verse 1 to 15. It is after the complete destruction of Satan and all that pertains to unrighteousness, that is when God's kingdom will be fully established. By then, there will be no more war, no more pain, no more fear. Nothing will make us be afraid. This is in accordance to Micah chapter 4, verse 2, which says, and he shall judge among many people, and rebuke strong nations afar off. And they shall beat their swords into plowshares, 
and their spears into prony hooks. Nation shall not lift up a sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. But they shall sit every man under his vine and under his fig tree, and none shall make them afraid, for the mouth of the Lord of hosts hath spoken it. It is now evidently clear that Satan was not cast out of heaven before Adam and Eve, or immediately after Adam and Eve. Not even when Christ has ascended into heaven, but it was after Christ has ascended into heaven and they sat at the right hand of God and they waited patiently for the appointed time and then God Almighty gave you the command to rule over his enemies. And when Satan was cast out, indeed, just as I said, there were physical signs to this effect. He plunged the entire nation into war in an attempt to destroy the whole of mankind. But Christ put a stop to the war for his elect sake. Having this knowledge, we should always believe in the word of God and rely in the power of God. It is those who believe in God Almighty and the Son Jesus Christ that God Almighty will save and bless them with life everlasting in his glorious kingdom fully established. Here we come to the end of the topic captured when was Satan cast out of heaven. Do you have any question? Please drop them in the comment section. I also use the opportunity to appeal to every one of us to please share this video, like the video, subscribe, put on the notification bell so that you will always be up updated whenever we post any new video. Please help us to grow this program. Thank you.